Good evening, everyone. And I would like to welcome you to this evening's um, free workshop. Um, my name is Ian Foster. For those of you that do not know me, I'm sure there's quite a few um, that do know me or have heard of me before anyway, probably not know me, but certainly heard of me before. Um, but um, I would once again like to welcome you all. And now, before we go any further, can I just check that everyone can both hear me and see my screen? I would pr I'd appreciate if you just give a wee yes or... Brilliant, that's great, Luke. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Again, please excuse me a little bit. Yes, I've usually got a deep enough um, Northern Irish accent, I have to say, but I'm certainly probably a little bit deeper this evening because I've taken a cold yesterday morning and suppose um, good ladies in, in the room might say it's man flu, but anyway, um, if I'm a little bit um, hoarse, um, I hope you can hear me loud and clear and that um, I don't come over any muffled, any way muffled, shall I say. But again, this workshop that I'm going to demonstrate to you this evening will show you how to trade any financial market on any time frame using a professional methodology coupled with a uniquely developed software trading tool. Now, I do say this. And I said, um, truthfully, hand and heart, it is a totally professional methodology that I'm going to demonstrate to you this evening. Before we go any further, everyone, <clears throat> I want to get this condensed um, disclaimer out of the way, please. And as you all know or should know, trading the financial markets does involve substantial risk. And it may not be suitable for all investors. And although we're not in a live trading environment at the same time, if you do hear me talking about buy and sell signals, please take those um, as nothing other than for the purposes of education. And again, remember before entering into any financial trades, proper financial advice should be obtained from a qualified financial advisor. Now here's quite a bold statement, but a very true statement. And some of you that perhaps have been struggling a little bit um, when, when it comes to trading um, might might maybe car a little bit at this side. But there are only two ways to lose money trading. One is an accurate analysis. And think. And two is then the implementation of that analysis. But I don't want that to happen to any of you in the room tonight. And again, my price action methodology, even learning the basics of price action, will help to eliminate um, the inaccurate analysis um, point of view in, in relation to that statement that I'm just after making. I would like to show you how you can accurately analyze any traded instrument and then use this analysis to trade it based on the probabilities of it moving in one direction or another. And from a trader's perspective, those of you that have been trading and those of you that perhaps are just beginning your trading journey. Unfortunately, in this industry, there is no holy grail. In other words, what is a holy grail? You're looking for something that works 100% of the time. If there was, I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, I would not be speaking to you this evening. I would be sitting somewhere um, with billions, not millions, but billions of pounds or dollars um, in my bank account, okay? But <clears throat> when it comes to having a professional methodology and with putting the probabilities in our favor and then learning how to control the risks associated with those um, signals based on the probabilities, then that is how we make, that's how we make money and um, achieve consistent success. Now, accurate analysis in trading equates to having knowledge. Now, we do know, as in life in general, knowledge is massively important. That's why we go to school <laughs> from a very young age, etc., etc. But in the trading world, knowledge 
is the ingredient of having a methodology. And then implementation of that methodology makes trading a great deal easier. If you have accurate analysis that equates to that knowledge, then your methodology is going to be that more powerful. Now, my methodology and the methodology which I'm going to demonstrate and, and talk to you about this evening is based on understanding and analyzing correctly past and present price movements. This in turn gives me the understanding of the probability that a particular instrument's next move is more likely to be up or down. And it is this that equates to price action trading. Now, price action is a widely used word in modern um, in modern trading times. But I can honestly say to you that way back when I learned price action trading, and by the way, there is learning how to read and trade price action accurately and inaccurately. And sometimes I really do quirk at what I see demonstra demonstrated by so-called people talking about price action. But anyway, that's another that is another subject, uh, and we will not we will not diverse into something else. Now, price action trading is very key, I believe, to one's trading success. I'm going to share this methodology with you this evening, and I'm pretty sure you will see how this no nonsense approach will make you a better it will make you better taking trading decisions just as it has me on so many others and the reason that <clears throat> you will see as i did and not only see but actually actually achieve very quickly with um accurate analysis of price action and, and then using that to trade the markets is simply because it has this no nonsense approach it is not subjective okay everything that um, price action will be telling you on a particular time frame on a particular chart will also be telling me the exact same thing even the very basics if i'm talking about the very basics of price action it will be exactly the same right across the board now, why do I use price action as my trading methodology? As I've already said, it quickly turned my trading fortunes around. And the reason that I was able to do this was because I had exact entry points. I had exact exit points. And most importantly, I had exact stop loss points now later on in the presentation we will briefly talk about risk and money management analysis but a methodology is so important and to be successful trading i'm sure those of you certainly that have been a little bit um, more experienced in trading you will have always heard or always felt or always read or whatever the case may be talked about risk 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 and risk and that is very 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 correct but risk in relation to a methodology has to come second and here's why because you cannot control risk or money management or have money management techniques within your trading plan if you have not got a methodology in the first place because if you have not got a methodology that lets you exactly know when you're wrong, where your stop loss should be, how can you control your risk? So every trade that we take based on my, my, my um, price action methodology, we know what the time of our trade entry, what our risk is. And we know that because we know then based on our analysis, so if our analysis was given us the probabilities of a particular instrument going up, we know at the exact point that our analysis is wrong and therefore that's where we have our protective stop now just a few trades before we go any further of of, of today this one is um a trade that happened just this afternoon 
in the Swiss franc Japanese yen. Five minute chart. The sell signal came in at 113. We had red bars, folk. I'll explain why perhaps I might not have taken this trade here. This was telling me that the sum total of selling pressures as per my software was greater than buying pressures. But our conservative sell signal was at 113.12. And as this screenshot was taken not long, not long before um, I opened the um, free workshop here, we were up 30 pips. In fact, actually, we were actually up more um, before this. But anyway, at this particular time in the screenshot, we were up just a touch over 30 pips. And that was in under two hours, trading an intraday chart based on my methodology. As I've said, for those of you that may be saying, oh, yes, Ian, that's very fine. This is up a five minute chart. The same methodology, folk, works across any time frame. That could be a monthly chart. We do not diverse. Another sell signal, pound dollar. Just this evening, folk, look, our sell signal again came in. <clears throat> look at the time. Came in just after about just after 2:30 this afternoon, the UK time here. And again, as I spoke, as I took this screenshot, it was at trading at 1:30:40. Some 53 pips the good. That market has since went quite a bit lower. I don't know what it's doing exactly as we speak, but it certainly was quite a bit lower um, just not long before I opened the, the um, room. Okay, and that was all based again, no, if, no ifs or buts. And everyone that was trading this methodology would have had the same signal. Okay, it's not the matter that I got this signal and you got a different signal if you were trading the same methodology using the same set of tools. That does not work like that. Here's gold again today. Again, the five minute chart. Our buy signal came in at what, 12, 24, 85. This afternoon, just folk, look, there's the date today, 15.30. Higher vertical bar chain pattern low and blue bars. And up we went. And we were still up as I took the screenshot. So that's just to give you an idea that what I am going to demonstrate and what I'm going to show you um, is worthwhile learning, worthwhile using, etc., etc. Dow Jones futures and the futures market this afternoon. I trade the futures myself. I wasn't trading this afternoon. I wasn't trading this afternoon. The signal was there. Um, but I was um, doing a presentation with Simon Campbell around the clock trader. I had a presentation this afternoon at four o'clock and then I was getting prepared, um, dare I say it, for this evening. So I wasn't trading it, but I would have been trading this signal. All right. You'll find, I know those of you that don't know me, um, maybe um, um, you may think that I'm, I'm saying this just for the sake of saying it, but I am very, very transparent with all. Um, and I prove that um, to members, my own members, and anytime we're on a live trading room, except with my trades. There's trades I will hold my hand up and say I missed because I didn't, I hadn't that particular chart open at that particular time. And that would that would also apply to yourselves. Um, so I wasn't trading this, but that doesn't negate the fact that my signal was there to trade it, all based again on our methodology, all based on the red bars. And look. 60 point lowers, 60 points lower in just 15 minutes. Not a bad trade. Trade in the futures market, which moves per contract at $5 per point. That was a $300 move in 15 minutes based on our methodology. This afternoon, folks, look, this evening, just after 6 p.m. There's the time. There's the time. Okay. Down into um, a quarter past six, it fell 25.330. When I said 60 points, by the time that I, this is a fast moving market and a very short price movement chart, okay? Um, and um, by the time that I had, sorry, by the time that I had um, moved this particular, um, or, or took a, sn a snip of this particular um, market, it had moved a little bit, okay? Apologize. Certainly doing a live room, folk. There's my mobile phone, which I thought was on silent. It wasn't, so I apologize for that. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been trading the markets from the early 1980s. 
and my first um, my first experience in trading the markets was um, trading a penny share, a share that um, I knew nothing about, and it was a colleague, a business colleague um, that I knew was regularly trading the shares um, over in Northern Ireland. He owned a manufacturing business, and he happened to tell me about some success he had with a particular penny share, and I, I, I met it in passing to him. I says, well, can I ask you that if that um, opportunity arises again, would you kindly tell me about it? And he did, and it, it, I made a profit of $2,000 in, in the space of two days from a Monday to a Wednesday, and that gave me the bug for trading, and that was in the early 1980s. Um, again, I have to hold my hand up. I knew absolutely nothing about trading. I had to go and open a brokerage account, and it just so happened to be in the same time, the brokerage that my um, accountants were in, um, and still are to this day. That that company um, is now long gone. Um, it was a company called McGuinness & McGuinness in Newry, County Down, Northern Ireland. And I rung up Mr. McGuinness and I says I, who I was and that if he wanted a, a reference, obviously times have changed everyone, as you would know, to contact my accountants. And I gave him the name of my accountants and he took my trade. So I have been teaching others. I moved on and had not such a great experience in the 1987 stock market crash, as you could well believe. Um, and some shares I came out losing, and others I held um, for quite some period of time before I got my money back. So um, that was my, um, suppose if I hadn't made the £2,000 in the space of two days, I perhaps I might never have had the, the trading bug, but um, that's all hindsight now, folk. Um, and again, as it says down here, I've been teaching others to trade successfully since 1998. Uh, any questions, I, I'll pick them up and I will come back. So I will, everyone to you, I will come back to the questions. Um, keep firing them, any questions, I will I will not ignore them. Oh, I promise you I will not ignore them, I'll come back. So I've been teaching others since 1998. And why did I get into teaching others? Why did I become a mentor? Here's the reason. And it's, it's all evolves around everything that I do. And that is, obviously not the choice a way back um, in the early 90s now, probably when I before I started looking at the derivatives markets. There wasn't the choice that there is today because obviously there was no internet. But even then, I started to attend seminars here in the UK, mainly, at the beginning, looking for a methodology from which I could make trading decisions from. And I used to come away from each seminar that I attended with some information but not the information that I was looking for. And that information that I was looking for, that indeed we're all looking for, I'm sure most of you are looking for in the room tonight, if you haven't got a methodology, and that is something that is going to give you a signal in the instruments, in the financial instruments that you wish to trade, that is going to put the probabilities in your favor that that instrument should go up or should go down. That's what we're looking for. That's what I was looking for. I never found it until I was nearly about to give up, believe it or not, because I'm one of these people that will paper trade for a little period of time, but I couldn't paper trade forever. And I had a little bit of success um, trading the um, UK options, mainly on the FTSE, but because the futures in those days was at 25 pounds per point on the FTSE with the broker, I wanted to be a millionaire overnight. So I had to dip my foot in the water, lost, dip my foot in the water again, lost, attended seminars, no methodology, and still didn't stop. But by, by good luck, by good fortune, I was introduced to a trader over in America, a guy no longer with us now, and um, who had developed quite a lot of, of um, trading systems for large institutions over there, all based around price action. And it was even the basics of price action, everyone, that certainly turned my trading around. Because now I had direction. Now I knew when I was wrong, when, when, when I knew exactly where my stop should be placed, as I said, even in the very basics. 
And then when I realized that this was beneficial to me, I knew it would also be beneficial to others. I knew those other people that attended those seminars that I had previously attended would also find a methodology from which you could make um, very, very, very um, highly probable trading decisions um, uh, that were, were, were putting the, the odds of a market going up or down in your favor um, were, were certainly going to be beneficial to them also. So that was how I got into um, being a mentor. So my price action trading methodology. My complete price action methodology consists of understanding the basics of price action, such as knowing how to read the price action of a single price bar correctly, the importance of outside vertical bars and inside vertical bars. Now, so many people find this quite boring, and I'm, I, I urge you not to, please, and, and believe me, I urge you not to, because this is the foundations of price action trading, and also it's the foundation of making really sound trading decisions. It's like building a property or a house, you need a sign foundation. If you haven't got it, folk, it doesn't last too long. This is the basics of price action, and this does give you a sign foundation. And then, moving on to the next step, because if price action was only around the basics of price action, it would be too simple. Everybody would be at it, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be beneficial. So then. And this is where we've got the edge. Edge number one, dare I say it. And that is learning how to determine when a vertical bar trading pattern high and low is in place. This is a unique pattern that occurs at every top and bottom and at every time frame. And then the most important aspect, because all of this, you may ask, what and why do I need to understand this? And I'm going to explain every aspect of this to you now. The reason you want to learn how to trade the, or to determine when a vertical bar trading pattern high and low is in place is because it is by determining where the highs and lows are placed that enables us to know what the trend is. That's why. So again, all my price action analysis is done by reading the open, high, low and close bars, otherwise known as the OHLC. And you can see here to the left, this is an open high low close bar. The bar to the right, which I'm sure is pretty familiar to many of you um, that have been trading, is a candlestick chart. Now, the difference between these two, believe it or not, this is the bar that gives me more information. And I want the I want to be reading price based on the most information that I can, or the most accurate information rather that I can extract from that particular time frame. And why do why why does the open high low close chart give me the information that is more accurate than this information? And that is simply because it is able to read the close better. And the close is what confirms the price action of any vertical bar. And it is the close in relation to the high or to the low of that bar, that is the most important aspect. Now, candlestick charts are just not as clear as that. <clears throat> because a candlestick chart is very much dependent on where the close is in relation to the open of the bar. So if in a candlestick chart, the close is lower than the open, it will be filled in. The body of the of the candle will be filled in, such as this example. If the close is closer than the or higher than the open, it will be an open body. Now, where the confusion at times in a candlestick chart arises that doesn't arise in an open high-low close chart, you could get an open body. In other words, a bullish body, a body, bullish candle. But the close of that candle may be not closer to the high. 
So therefore, it's giving you a bullish indication, but the close may be closer to the low, but above the open. That's not what I want. I want the close to see it clearly in relation to the higher low. So that's just an explanation of why we use the open high low close charts. How to begin price action trading is by how to read properly the signals within single vertical bars, dual vertical bars, inside vertical bars, outside vertical bars. Again, folk, I'm not going to. We're, we're not going to spend. We haven't got the time this evening to spend um, much time on on each of these. But we will we will talk about um, how you single vertical bars, and we will discuss a little bit the inside and outside vertical bars. Now. Why would we need to know this information? And the reason, as I've already said, there's always a reason for knowing something. And if there's not a reason or not a need to know that, then it's no benefit to you or me. So this is why I'm saying I can't stress enough by even understanding this, why it is beneficial. Because taking action based on the confirmed price action of these bars is the foundation for being a successful price action trader. So we have a bullish bar here, folks, and why, why is it a bullish bar? It's a bullish bar because the close of this bar, which is a little tick to the right, is closer to the high than it is to the low. So we're going to assume that this is a daily bar. That means that I have a probability in my favor that the high of this daily bar is going to be broken to the upside, because this is a bullish bar, before the low is broken. And that means then that if the price of the next couple of days or the next day or whatever the case may be, trades within the range of this bullish bar, I have got, I know, a probability of the high being broken. So therefore, the closer that it gets to the low of this bullish vertical bar, the lower my risk is going to be. Because the only time that this bullish bar fails is when the low is broken to the downside before this high is broken to the upside. And the same would be to a bearish bar, which is the other way around. In other words, the close is closer to the low. You're putting the probabilities in your favor that the low will be broken to the downside. Now, let me show you a current example of how I use this information for a possible trade entry. And this same information that I'm talking to you now about is the same information that I analyze <clears throat> over the weekend in the instruments that I am looking at or that I regularly trade. Or if any of you give me an instrument and said, Ian, could you please analyze the price action of that instrument for me? And the particular chart that I might open up or that you might send to me or ask me to look at maybe a five or maybe a 15 minute chart or it could be an hourly chart or whatever the case would be. I would begin with analyzing a bigger time picture or a bigger time price bar such as a weekly bar or a daily bar of that instrument first because that gives me the probabilities then whether that instrument should be breaking to the low or whether it should be breaking to the high it'll also let me know if we're in an intra week if it's a weekly vertical bar and we're trading during the week in a daily time frame it'll also let me know whether my price action objective of the weekly of the weekly um, price bar the single weekly price bar has been achieved what do I mean achieved? If it's a bearish price bar, I'm after stating that the low should be broke to the downside first. If this market is trading within this range of this bearish weekly bar, therefore then the price action objective of the weekly bar has not been achieved yet. It's only achieved when the low is broken. Unless it does the complete opposite. And I will explain what advantage that is in a second. This was an example I showed last night on Round the Clock Trader in my presentation. And it's a very valid, and it hasn't changed much apart from this bar, this, this market going a little bit lower today. It's down, it's down around here now. So I didn't change the slide. Deliberately didn't change the slide, everyone. With an outside vertical bar, sorry, with a bearish bar up at the top. It stops up here, starts up here. Now, you may ask me, what are these zigzag lines? Just on this point, I would just tell you, and I'm not going to go into it at, at this stage. We will shortly, very shortly. This is our vertical bar trading pattern, highs and lows. So what a zigzag line is, if I'm, if I'm 
I'm putting a low down here, attaching a low line to the low. That is a confirmed vertical bar trading pattern low. That is a confirmed high, folk. That's all that is. That just lets me know what the trend is as far as the daily vertical bar and vertical bar trend is. But just analyzing the single vertical bars, this is a daily time frame chart. Daily, daily, there's it there. <clears throat> Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Very bar up at the very top here. The next bar went lower. The next bar was a slightly bullish bar. Yeah. Therefore, that was indicating that this high should be broken before the low. Was the high broken before the low? It was, but it was only broken and no more. And then it came back down and it broke the low. Now that was an outside vertical bar, which I will show you examples of in a slide or two's time. And by the way, on this point, the outside vertical bar is the most important single vertical bar in the makeup of price action. And if you've got a bullish or bearish outside vertical bar, depending on where the close is in relation to the high or low, in this instance, the close was closer to the low than the high, you're probably about a 80% probability folk on a daily time frame chart, um, and certainly down maybe even into a 60 minute, that it will do exactly as what the price action has been indicating, in other words, weakness. This market went down, it went down all in bearish daily bars. Look, imagine just trading this simple, simple system based on a single daily bar. Your first signal is up here at the very top here because that close there was closer to the low than the high. See where this market turned around? And that went down one, two. It's a little bit of a bullishness here. It's your original entry, you still wouldn't have lost money because you're staying short. If you've got if you've got a short trade here, sell signal, and the bar is still indicating weakness, you wouldn't be coming out of your trade. You're staying in this, staying in it. You've reversed here, folk. So you've went long. So that means that you're in from there to there. And then what happens? The next day it turns around and outside vertical bar. So you've lost from the here to here. That's a small loss compared to the move. Of course, we can look back historically and we didn't know, but all we were doing was reading price action. We were only reading the 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 um we were only reading the setup of the of the of the bearish bars. One, two, three, four, five. This market went from 116.73 down to 113.19. And yes, there's been one in here and um we're, we're lower again. Down lower. <clears throat> right, I'll just ask a couple of questions at this point. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll just go on to the next slide and then I'll come back to those couple of questions. Thank you, um, everyone. Just bear with me one second. A couple of questions to answer. The Dow Jones cash, not the futures market, weekly chart. This is... This is the present weekly vertical bar. Last week, as we know, the Dow Jones fell a stone like a stone. And it fell over 1,300 points in two days. But you see, by analyzing just a single weekly vertical bar, that's this week, that's last week, that's the week before, look what it was telling us then. It was giving us a close that was closer to the low than the high. So therefore, that was telling me two weeks ago, over that weekend when I was analyzing the, the Dow Jones markets, that we had a greater probability that the Dow was going to fall and take the previous week's low out before it would go up and take the previous week's high out. Just by analyzing one single vertical bar. And let me assure you here at this, there's much more to price action than this. But this is why this is the foundation, and this is why this should not be boring. I've heard people say in the past, this is boring. I've met professionals, I've met brokers that can't even analyze a single price action vertical bar properly. Quite bemusing, but true. I've also had um, brokers that have been on my seminars um, quite regularly in the past. And over this last three years, I've been doing webinars, not seminars. But up until then, I was doing seminars. So then, what benefit with the big long range bar here? 
Now that there closed last week around right this level here, actually just there. You can see it 25,301. This week, on an interweek basis, this market had rallied to 25.7. Yeah. But I knew, based on my weekly price action bar, any rally in this market was what I call a counter trend rally. And I call it a counter trend rally quite simply because the bigger trend, looking at the bigger magnet, in this case, the weekly chart, this is not a five minute chart, this is a weekly chart. I'm looking for this market, the Dow, to take last week's low out to the downside before it breaks to the upside. Everything was looking bullish, folks. Everything was looking bullish. And it's not over yet. I appreciate that. But at least I've got my probability. So therefore, that meant that any interweek rally this week, I'm looking for short signals. And this is where our other tools come into play because we are then able to determine, based on our other tools, when we see weakness. How do we see weakness? Lower lows and lower highs, something I will talk about shortly. So let me take a look at the Dow Jones today. 30 minute chart. Look, blue bars here, long bars, green bars. All I've drawn in here, folk, is a vertical bar trading pattern, confirmed low. I've then went, this is the 18th of October. This is this morning. Trading on the MT4 platform. Okay. This actually happens to be with IG, 3MT4. Okay, spread betting. Those of you that are outside the UK, um, it is um, this this chart taken from a spread betting broker. Okay. This market then gave me a confirmed vertical bar trading pattern high. That was a lower high than any high up to the left here. You can see that market was lower. But most importantly, then we waited on confirmation of the bars then giving us weakness. Once we had a, a lower high confirmed. And remember, the bars do not have to be colored to give us a lower high. We have to wait on them then to change color to match our um, price action, our vertical bar trading pattern price action methodology. And our sales signal was at 25,649 just after 11 a.m. this morning. Look, see this? The market was at 316 when I took this screenshot this evening after 5 p.m. There are 1,700. Over a 300 point move, but that is all based. Why did I make that? Why, why was I more keen to take that? Because this was a signal that was with the trend, with the vertical bar trading pattern, weekly trend. Now, I don't know, this market could have bounced, it could bounce 500 points again. I don't know, but all I do know is that the probability of it taking last week's low out, and it's not out of, this is not out of any weakness until this low would be taken out. So I'm going to answer a few questions at this stage, and I hope everyone's still with me. Um, right, Mike, what platform do you get the futures market on? It is NinjaTrader, Mike, is the platform that my methodology goes in to um, the, directly into the futures market. If you're trading the smaller time frame charts, um, I will, um, within the smaller time frame charts, I trade directly off the NinjaTrader screen. Um, and that's the example as per the Dow. That's the examples that I showed yesterday in my presentation around the clock trader, where we had a $2,000 move um, over a period of a few hours trading the like crude oil, etc. Exact same methodology, nothing moves except the, 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 the charts that we're using. Um, what, confirms, what confirms a vertical bar trading pattern low? Um, Tom, um, that is the rules of. Um, that you would learn if, um, and we'll talk about that later. I, I will discuss that with you. That is, there's a, there, we have a certain set of rules that comes that confirms our vertical bar trading pattern low, okay, and high, okay. And I, I, I will, you will see that shortly, okay. That 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 we're moving on to our vertical bar trading patterns now. Um, that's fine, Len. No problem. Um, Len, um, I can certainly look after. Uh, I can certainly look at those few trades with you after the presentation, if you wish. Because oh, well, um, I need to check. Have I have I closed down my charts, my live charts, or have I not? I, I'll check. But there's not a problem. I will look immediately at them afterwards if I haven't. Um, 
just let me check remind me please towards the end Len, if you will okay and um i will certainly there's nothing uh, nothing um been hidden whatsoever okay not at all no problem ray oh yes we consider daily bars of course ray um what i'm what i'm saying very much you see the good thing about this okay there are people that can look and if i'm doing a live trading room i will obviously have a five minute chart up smaller time frame charts simply because we have a live trading room we might want to be doing trades we don't want to be sitting there not doing anything in a live trading room okay sometimes we don't do as many um as others uh, sometimes uh, sorry let me let me let me qualify that statement make it more um, presentable rather than um, i'll not say in case i'm insulting any other irish colleagues but less irish and, and, more, and more presentable if because all of this is based on picking a trend and getting into the trend at its earliest and most opportune time okay that's all what our methodology is based around and with no gray areas there and what that means is that sometimes when i am even trading on smaller time frame charts you will find believe it or not that a signal could have appeared at 8 or 9 a.m in the morning and that signal that market has moved quite considerably whether it be down or whether it be up and because that trend began at a lot lower price or a lot higher price if it's a sell weakness a sell signal i do not chase it and i recommend to any of you never ever chase a move and you shouldn't have to yes we have this from a trader's perspective this fear of missing out but you know it's not like an ordinary orthodox business business trading isn't because there's always another opportunity there's always another train coming along it may be along very quickly by just flicking over to another instrument or there may be a little bit of weight but it's always worth waiting and never ever chasing right let us move on to the next step which is going to be our vertigo bar trading pattern i just want to at this stage point out what inside vertical bars and outside vertical bars are now if you see an inside vertical bar that is when you've got a lower high and a higher low to the immediate bar on its left and let me tell you the advantage of inside vertical bars and where they appear inside vertical bars usually appear after a trending market and let's assume again that these are daily charts and I, i'm just after realizing i didn't i didn't um, use uh, answer a question properly there um, i'm being like a politician not giving you a straight answer sorry i will in a second in relation to daily time frame charts but anyway a lower high and a higher low is an inside vertical bar also inside vertical bars can become what we call low volatility bars and that there also means um, just as i've started to say it can appear normally at either the bottom of a trend the previous trending move or the top of a trending move or it can appear when a bit like a swimmer that has been swimming underneath water and wants to come up for a breath in other words a market that has been trending and is now getting a breather and is either going to change trend or else the breather that is taken is going to put it back into the previous direction that it was already in and this is why it's very key to trade an inside vertical bar in the direction that it breaks out. Now you can be aggressive on a trade the inside vertical bar. So assuming this is daily bars, you can be aggressive and a trade it on the, upon the break of the high or upon the break of the low. But being a bit more conservative, you would have to take in the consideration of the makeup to the bar on its immediate left. In other words, if this was a bullish bar and you had an inside vertical bar, you would probably be more prepared to wait until it would break the high of the bullish bar and achieve this bullish bar price action objective. Or again, if you see this bar breaking down, and this was a bullish bar, and once you see it taking out the low, once you see a bullish bar fail or a bearish bar fail, and how does it feel? It feels when it takes out a low and it should take out a high first, 
And that's just like flipping a coin, everyone on its head. It's giving a complete reverse signal. And sometimes signals such as those can be very, very good. A market, an instrument is then about to make a decent move. Okay, so that's how we use those. Again, you know, we can't discuss all aspects of, of um, this in, uh, during this presentation, but it's all the makeup. And this is what makes price action so interesting. And this, why, this is why there's a little bit of learning. Okay, and if there wasn't a little bit of learning, I can honestly tell you hand and heart, everyone, it wouldn't be worth knowing. There's no point me going over this, no point me demonstrating to you if this material that I am explaining to you was not beneficial to making trading decisions. The outside vertical bar, which I've already said, is the most it is the most powerful single vertical bar setup. It's when you've got immediately looking compared to the bar to its immediate left, a higher high and a higher low. But again, it's the price action and the close which confirms whether this is a bullish or bearish outside vertical bar. You've got a bearish outside vertical bar with a close closer to the low. Then, as I've said, you've got a very high probability that that particular instrument will break to the downside, or a bullish one break to the upside. So take a look, and you can use this in your trading, folk. All right, you can take a look at the in your trading. I'll give you an example. And any of you that are trading and looking at the markets, go to look at pound dollar, J G B P U S D. In other words, cable, and go and look. At last Friday's daily bar, and you will see an outside vertical bar to the downside. And you will see then when the market opened on Sunday night that immediately it gapped down 50 points net or 50 pips. It doesn't normally do that. Okay, normally we don't get gaps, but obviously because of the this these Brexit talks is creating a lot of volatility. But that does not negate that we are actually able to trade the markets based or a market in this instance pound dollar based providing we have got the correct setups and we know what our risk is and providing our risk is within the confines of our trading plan we can take those trades but what i'm saying to you take a look and you'll see then um, a very strong um, outside vertical bar to the downside now have you seen that forming because obviously an outside vertical bar will not just form at the close it will all already have made that formation the only thing that the close will do will be confirm it. So very close, to, prior to the close last Friday, even if you'd have went short, you'd have had a beautiful trade over the weekend. When that market opened again, you could have come out and you were up, you know, even, even if we waited to Monday morning, because the market went up and it filled the gap, and then it came back down again before it started to go up. I know it's, it's went weak this evening again, we know that. But I'm only giving you an example. That's how we use it. And then if we can use our trading tools around that to lock in profits and positions that we're in. We're, we're, we're then on the road to, to making money. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to mute till I take a coffee. I apologize. Thank you. Ray, and just answer this. So long as the weekly bars are making lower lows, then you will trade the lower time frames in that direction. Well, yes, or even the larger time frames, Ray. You know, because obviously there's going to be volatility in the lower time frames. You're taking your signals if you're trading off weekly bars. You're taking your signals off those weekly bars, and you can mix that with the daily bars. Yeah, we do consider um, the daily bars, obviously. But again, if you take a look at this week, you take a look at the, the DAO, I'm after giving you an example. Take a look at the daily bars. There was a couple of daily bullish daily bars, and today is Thursday, within the week. But our weekly price action objective was telling us that the bigger probability was for the market to break to the downside. So therefore, you can counter trend trade the bullish daily bars, if you want to use dailies again, the weeklies, which is very good, I use them regularly. But you're looking for a bearish daily bar then. Maybe even going into a, a four hour chart or even a, a 60 minute chart, but certainly a, a bearish daily bar that's giving you the probability that the next day it should go lower. And then at the same time, you see that the weekly price action objective has not been, yet been achieved, as it hasn't. 
In other words, that last week's low has not been broken um, to the downside this week yet. And therefore, you're now starting to form a situation where you are putting probabilities all in your favor. So now you're getting like little dom dominoes. And you're getting one or two of those dominoes stacking up in your favor. So that is the basics of price action. But it's this part that's the most important, folks, let me tell you. The basics are, are very important from a foundation point of view, but we have to take it a step further, and we do. So putting the basic price action foundations together with what I call my vertical bar trading pattern, the VBTP, the secret pattern, simplifies trading decisions, and it does take our signals to a different level, dare I say it. And when I say it takes our signals to a different level, what do I mean? Well, it gives us more accurate signals. It gives us more accurate and more regular profitable trades. By correctly analyzing the position of the confirmed vertical bar trading pattern highs and lows, it means that I know exactly what the trend is presently in that instrument. I know exactly when it began because Remember, we want to get into the new trends at the most opportune times. And as point two here says, we know exactly when that instrument changes trend. Know exactly to the very point, to the very one pip. Not an area, not one area. We're not around an area here. We're talking about, we're talking about fine tuning. Truthfully, fine tuning, okay? Now, trading the trend is not just as simple as drawing a trend line. And the reason I say this is because if the new trend is only beginning, you don't know where to draw to or from. <clears throat> and remember the old saying, a trend is a trader's best friend. And the challenge of not being able to identify a new trend at its earliest stage is now gone. If you're trading the vertical bar, trading pattern highs and lows, folk, you now have no problem in identifying the new trend. So you know what a trending market is. A trending market, an uptrending market is defined by higher highs and higher lows, <clears throat> as in this diagram. And a downtrending market is when the market such as here starts to make a lower high than the previous high. Because if a market makes a lower high and it's now starting to downtrend, it should make a lower low. Yeah, the next retracement should be a lower high, lower low. But then if the market starts turning around and has made a lower high and a lower low and all of a sudden it starts making a higher low, this scenario, we know exactly that the market has changed trend. But not on a line chart like this, dare I say. We're talking about our vertical bar confirmed highs and lows that determines when the market has number one began or beginning a new trend and number two when it has changed trend. So what is the vertical bar trading pattern? It is probably more commonly known as swing highs and swing lows. Some of the old stalwarts in trading would call them fractals. Okay. And why do I call it the secret pattern? Well, the reason is because I have a very disciplined set of rules that determines when a vertical bar trading pattern top or bottom has been formed. And most importantly, I know at the time, not after the event. And let me tell you why this discipline set of rules are there. They are there for a particular reason. And that reason is quite simply this, that over many, many years and uh, many, many hours, not only from me, I've done quite a lot of this too, Stillian, but certainly from the person who taught me, it has proven over time that 
by having this particular set of rules that determines when a higher low is in place, we have a higher probability of that market responding to the price movement based on where those highs and lows have been, con those confirmed highs and lows have been formed. So in other words, if we have a higher vertical bar trading pattern low in place, then and we go by our rules, we don't jump the gun, and we know exactly when that has been confirmed, that is then giving us a higher probability that not only was it made now a higher low, but that it should also make a higher high from the previous high. And that is the reason why I have a very disciplined set of rules. And this is why I call it the vertical bar trading pattern high and not a swing high and swing low. Okay. I could call it a swing high and swing low. I can call it X, Y, Z swing high and swing low. But it's the vertical bar trading pattern high and low to me. And that is what I have called it and what I've been teaching for many, many years now. Okay. So I want to look at the pound dollar in a daily chart here. And I quite like this saying from, from many of you, Ian, these zigzag lines, what are they? And let me just go over them again. I know I've already mentioned it briefly on a couple of the charts. Each high here, each zigzag line, zig, zag, zig, zag, that is only drawn in everyone when I have got a confirmed low in place down here, a confirmed high in place up here, a confirmed low in place down here, a confirmed high in place up here, etc., etc. Now, what that tells me, if we look at this chart by being able to determine when we've got the highs and lows, when the pound dollar here broke through a previous higher low, see where this horizontal line is? That there was a low in here. That was a higher low from the previous lows. Once it broke through that, that was telling me I knew exactly when that market had changed trend. And why had it changed trend? Because it had changed very good bar trading pattern trend, which is what I trade. Because remember what an uptrend is. An uptrend is higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Yeah. Well, if a market is going to continue in an uptrend, it's going to make a higher high, which it did do. The next low, the next retracement, the market should make a higher low than this low, the previous low to its left. But if that market breaks through that low, then that's gone. It's made a lower low. Because wherever it makes its next confirmed low, it wasn't a confirmed low here at this stage, but wherever it does make its next confirmed low, once it breaks through this low, it's guaranteed to be a lower confirmed vertical bar trading pattern low. It just so happens in this particular instance that its next low was away down the page. But once it broke up here, we knew it had changed trend. That was up around 140. And look where that market went. Went down here to below 128. Just trading the daily charts, but based on their vertical bar trading pattern. But you know, most importantly, everyone, this is what's most important. It's all right looking over at the past. That's very good. We want to look now. We want to analyze this now. We want to look at the most recent price action based on the vertical bar trading pattern highs and lows in this point dollar daily chart. So here's what happened. See the blue bar here at the bottom? Not only was that an outside vertical bar to the upside because it was a lower low than this previous low, it was also a higher high and it closed above the mean, closed closer to the high than it did to the low. But apart from that bullish signal, just on the single vertical bar and its own, or the single outside vertical bar to the upside, it was some time after that, a few days after that, before we were able to get a confirmation that that was a confirmed vertical bar trading pattern low. When we got that, we didn't get that signal up here at the top. We got that signal where it was confirmed, much lower than up here. But when we got that signal then, we knew that that was a higher vertical bar trading pattern low than the previous low. What does a higher low mean? It means we're possibly now in an uptrend. And we will confirm that uptrend when we make a higher high. But our probabilities of us making a higher vertical bar trading pattern high, which is higher than the previous high, which in this case was this high, is much greater. That market went up, the market retraced, and when it made a higher high than the previous high, 
What does an upturn constitute, everyone? A higher low. That last low was at 129.18. But you know what's quite significant in round here? We perhaps now are starting to set up. So we went made a higher high, we made a higher low, we met we met sorry, we made a higher high. Sorry, we made a higher low, we made a higher high, we made a higher low. And therefore, we know for this market to continue its uptrend, it has to make a higher high, which is a higher high than this high. But if this market breaks, which the low here is 129.18, we know then that it has changed trend. But believe it or not, everyone, we might have a signal very soon that's confirming that you see this little bar here. Look at your middle finger and point it to the sky. Point it to the ceiling and see what's the highest bar around here. And this middle finger, which may become, it hasn't as I speak to you, and I can truthfully put my hand and tell you this truthfully. This has not become a vertical bar pin pattern confirmed high as I speak. But it looks that it could be setting up to become a vertical bar pin pattern high. Now, if that is a confirmed vertical bar pin pattern high, that there would then indicate that we've made a lower high. And then what is that going to mean? That's going to mean that we've got a greater probability that this market is going to make a lower low. Now, if you only want to trade the vertical bar trading pattern on daily charts, this is the way you could trade it. But imagine having this information and then using even a smaller time frame chart. I'm not talking about a five minute. You go into your four hour, you go into your 60 minute to position yourself and perfect your timing if you have the correct tools and analyze this together. You know, this is how we can, as traders, become much more consistently profitable and become more successful. But it all starts by being able to, to, to read the price action. And let me tell you, I, I've said this, and really and truly it is price action, reading, reading price action of a chart is very similar to reading a story in a book. Euro dollar, daily chart. See when the market change trend up here, lower vertical bar trading pattern high than the previous high. Daily charts. Look what happened. Up here, folk. When we had that confirmed high. Yes, we didn't. We're, we're not in the business of picking out tops and bottoms. All right, that is the top. But we didn't know that was the top until it was confirmed. And then we went with the herd. Once you get the herd going all in one direction, it's very hard to stop that herd, isn't it? It's like a car going down a hill with no brakes goes slowly at the beginning, gradually picks up speed. And that's what we want. We want to pick out these trending moves, folk, and we want to stay with them. And then we know when we stay with them, we want to maximize the moves. So therefore, we know exactly when those moves are over. Now, does that mean that you can't take, if you started off with positions up here, that you're not taking positions off as this market falls? Yes. Lock in profits. You'll never go broke taking profits. But you always must leave at least a position if you're trading to maximize trades and trends such as this. Because it's that that enables one to take three steps forward and one step back. Because you'll always have losing trades. And I don't want to stay, stay here tonight. And I know time has gone on now. I don't want to stay here tonight or, or stand up here tonight or sit down or whatever I'm doing and start stating that you will not have losing trades. I will not do that, folk, because you will have losing trades. But you will be able to control your risk. And you see, if you're taking a trade based on this here, and based on the confirmed vertical bar trading pattern trend, the day that that was confirmed, because it is a daily chart, the day that that was confirmed, that's the day that you take your entry. And then you know exactly what your stop should be. Because if that is a confirmed lower vertical bar trading pattern high, where do you think you want your stop? If you're short, going short, the weakness, wouldn't you want your stop above the previous lower high? So therefore, something that I'll touch on very shortly, you know exactly what your risk is going to be. You can assess your risk. You can adjust your position based on the risk. Or if the risk's too great, you ignore the trade. You move on to another instrument. You wait for another opportunity. But the great thing is you know exactly to the very one pip if it's currencies or if you're trading the, the indices to the very one point, you know when you're wrong. 
we might give it a little bit more than one. I might, if I'm trading up an intraday chart, I would probably give three pips. All right. But I know when it breaks it by one pip. And the reason I give it a few pips of, 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 of um, wiggle room, I call it. The last thing we want to be doing, uh, if you take into consideration spreads, etc., we don't want to be um, coming out of a market that goes up to make a double top. So in other words, say this market went back up and went very close to this or just equaled it. We don't want to be doing that. So always give it a little bit. Because double tops are even more powerful. In other words, two highs up here are the same. Triple tops are even better. So again, in round here, you may say, Ian, look, there seems to be lows in round here. Yes, everyone. They were not confirmed vertical bar trading pattern lows. All right. You may say, hold on, this market went up and down. This is like a swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. Yeah. Remember what I said when I started showing you this? I have a very disciplined set of rules that determines where highs and lows are. That's why I truthfully was not drawing them in. Every marking on my chart, not one person can come to me and say, Ian Foster, you've drawn in a high and a low, which is incorrect. Okay? I haven't, and I don't. So that does not happen. So anyway, to cut a long story short, you can see this market went down, and then you can see we're changed trend again, a higher vertical bar trade and pattern low. But look what it's just done recently. It's broke through the previous low at 115.26, and now we're waiting on a confirmation. So that means that if we do get a bounce in the euro dollar, um, it is probably a bounce that's going to indicate that we're going to make a lower high, and then therefore wherever that low will be to go low, to go lower on the daily chart. You know exactly, Mike, when um, the that, that the rules of the vertical bar trading pattern will tell you exactly when you go, when when the, the confirmed higher lows in place. Pound, Japanese yen, move started off, higher vertical bar trading pattern low, up it went, up it went, up it went. And we know exactly then, if we get a low in round here, we know at this stage, that, that was the last low and we only we know at this stage that also that was the only time that this market had changed trend when it breaks through the previous vertical bar trading pattern low unless it makes another low a higher low up here okay but at this stage at the time of this um screenshot of this particular chart the last vertical bar trading pattern low was down here another great example here of a market changing trend Look at this buy signal on the NASDAQ, 72.09. Went up, higher low, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher low, higher high. And then it's just recently broke through the previous low here at 70 at 73. That's indicated now, folk, I can tell you we've now got a confirmation with a lower vertical bar trading pattern high in place. Yes. That's a lower high than this high. Obviously, we've broken through the low. So therefore, this market... The Nasdaq, I don't need to be watching CNBC or Bloomberg analysts saying this market's going to do this or do that. Trade what you see in front of us. Trade exactly what you see. Now, I hope and I'm quite sure. You can see the difference knowing how to trade in the direction of the vertical bar trend could help your trading decisions. I'm quite sure. I'd be very surprised if you can't. But over my many years trading using my price action methodology, I often thought, how could I add something to my trading arsenal that would further complement the strength of my methodology? And this led me to develop my STB Trend Trader tool. Now, it is a unique piece of software. It was first and foremost developed by myself for my own use, and it sits on top, all right? It sits on top of my price action methodology. It is not the price action methodology that sits on top of the software. It's the other way around, folk. Methodology first, indicator on top to further confirm our signals, okay? Using the STB trend trading tool really does put the icing on the cake, and I'm sorry for been quirky and saying that but genuinely it does help your 
trading decisions and further cements a signal in your mind. Okay. Is it 100% perfect? Absolutely not. Unfortunately. It is a visual indicator that paints the price bars red, blue, or green, which indicate a sign of weakness, strength, and neutrality, respectively. And as I've already said, it was developed for my own use. It's totally authentic. And it is based, as a question that I often get asked, what is it based on? Ian? It is based on the sum total of buying and selling pressures within that particular instrument and time frame. So the algorithm behind it, folk, is based on the sum total of buying and selling pressures. And the buying and selling pressures within any, within any price action market is always confirmed by the close. Okay. And when I talk about it being authentic, I mean that if it paints a price bar blue and the market goes down two bars later or a bar later, that bar will remain blue. It will not change color to suit the market. And that is so important. Because could you imagine using a piece of software? Now, admittedly, this sits on top of the methodology. But I can tell you I've seen software that actually you go to use that gives you one signal. And then when the market turns around, that signal that has given you has changed. And therefore, you go back to your chart to see where you went wrong. And all of a sudden you say, hold on a minute. Am I doting here? Because the signal that I took based on what the chart was telling me or what the, what the software was telling me at that particular time has now changed. That would not be very authentic. It is out there, folks. This is not. This will not. So in other words, I've said it's not 100% correct all the time, unfortunately. But again, it's all about probabilities, but the probabilities in our favor. But what it will do, it will not change color to suit the market after the event now here's just a chart most recent chart taken there just this evening you can see here here's the dates here's the dates folk 18th to the 10th 17th to the 10th 16th to the 10th euro us dollar buy signal coming out of the red mode into green mode blue bars higher vertical bar trading and pattern low that had to be in place first the bars were already blue Thank you very much, Mr. Euro US dollar. Thank you. Green bars. We decided it was action here. Back up. Look what happened here. Blue bars. Yeah. Right. But we were waiting on a confirmed vertical bar trade. We wanted, after this market came down with the blue bars, we wanted a confirmed higher vertical bar trade pattern low. We got it. And the market went up. I went up quite considerably from our entry point. And yes, it didn't go and make a move like from here to here. But certainly we had positions. Our last position would have been stopped out of the break even trade. But if you couldn't take a signal from in around this area here up to here, you shouldn't be trading. But most importantly, everyone, you've seen me demonstrating our vertical bar trading pattern, highs and lows. Do you see what happened here? The market broke through the previous higher vertical bar trading pattern low. What did the price bars do? Turn red. This is look, 17th to the 10th. Look at today. The market went lower. Look where the euro dollars went. We already knew from the daily chart. If I go back to it, look. Once it broke through that 115.26, the daily the daily time frame had already changed trend. Then this is what's happened. Now we've met a lower vertical bar trading pattern, lower high today, red bars in place. And as I took the screenshot there this evening around 6 p.m., we were down at 114.62. FTSE, just the update. I showed this last night, and this is the updated chart today. This is on the 18th of October, as you can see here, um, 6992. Um, red bars are last signal, the I mean, lower vertical bar trading pattern high. Once the red bar came in, I took my entry at 7418. I'm still in this trade. Yes, it went green, but didn't change trend. Didn't break up through any green bar highs after the first green bar was formed. This will probably go red again. And 
that there's a confirmed lower vertical bar trading pattern high. Remember, I told you it doesn't have to be red bars to confirm our high. That's our price action. This starts going red again, then we're going to have a higher probability going down and taking these lows out to the downside. Dow Jones futures, 17th of October yesterday. Initially, there was 160 point profit, went on to 200 point profit as per here. From our initial risk, which was 15 points, I showed this last night in my presentation to Simon Campbell um, in the, his event. Our initial stop, look, doesn't change, folk. Our entry is exactly based, blue bars really in place, but we had a higher vertical bar trading pattern low. Our entry was at 556 and our stop was at underneath 541, risking 15 points. Went on for 200 point trade, look. There's nothing, hiding nothing, see there. Will that happen today? I don't know whether it happened today because I wasn't trading the futures markets today, okay? I told you that, hold my hand up. Didn't negate the fact that we had a signal earlier. But what I will say is every day like that, obviously not. But certainly, if we're risking 15 points, we haven't a very much, we haven't a very great risk to take on board, have we? DAX for our chart, sell signal on the 4th of October, 12.255. Still red, folk, still red. Even the market bounced a little bit. It's still red, trading at 11.506. 12.255. Eleven five oh six went up a little bit higher. Don't you get me wrong, but still, we're hundreds of points in profit. Hundreds of points in profit. Yes, Dow Jones. Sell signal on the seventh of October. Our red bars twenty six four four eight. It went down to as we know underneath twenty four and heading south today again. Or was there was a previous buy signal on the Dow Jones based on our software. But first and foremost, it's our methodology. It's a higher vertical bar trading pattern low. And then we've got the blue bars confirming it. The blue bars were already in place. What's the blue bars telling us? That the sum total of buying pressures is much greater than the selling pressures. In this particular market, which is a four hour chart. US dollar Japanese yen, look at the move. Start a lower vertical bar trading pattern high, red bars. Change a little bit in here. You see this, but the bars didn't change. The market went back down again. So even if you come out of your last trade in here, the market came back down again, broke through that low. Even if you want to let it retrace, come back down to make a lower low, and then the bars went red again. And Bob's your uncle, so you made your bit here, and you made your bit there. One hour chart. Apple, again, it works on any particular instrument. Just to give you an idea of what it was like in the Apple chart today that it hit its $1 trillion value. Gapped up, blue bars, blah, blah, blah. US dollar, I like showing this chart simply folk because this is a chart of the US dollar, Canadian dollar in a 15 minute time frame. This is without any software on it. And you trade that there 100% perfectly with nothing on it, no software, nothing. But I just want to show you the next chart and show you the exact same time frame at the exact same beginning and ending and to show you what it's like with the software on and with it off it it just gives you that little bit further confirmation and cement something in your mind that just makes your trading decisions that little bit easier excuse the pun that little bit of icing on the cake now risk and management risk management and money management are key to your trading decisions are very key to our trading decisions, folk. And as I said from the very beginning of the presentation, that you need to know whatever methodology you're using, whether you haven't got a methodology at all and you're looking for one, whatever one you decide to choose and use, make sure that that methodology determines when you are wrong, okay? It's all right determining when you're right, but you need to know when you're wrong because it's only by knowing when you're wrong based on your analysis that you can protect your trading account. Now, know your risk. No methodology, as I've said here. No way of being able to determine risk. So you have to have a methodology firstly. And then once you've got the methodology, every trading decision you make 
is based around risk. Because the only thing from a trader's perspective that we can control at the time of our entry is risk. I have showed trades here. Let's just go back just to this simple chart here. And we have seen this market make a big move with the blue bars, etc. But that there is after the event. Yes. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to control our risk at the time of our signal. So what good would it be that only every one and so many of your trades make moves like this and you are taking big large risks to do that it only takes one of those large risks to falter and fail and many times have you had emails in if you're on some of these email lists we have an 80 percent winning system we have a 92 percent winning system what about the what about the 8% that that 92% winning system fails? Is that going to wipe your previous six months profits out? Your previous six days? Your previous six hours? It's a bit like trading the spread betting indexes. Or, or sorry, a bit like about trading the, the, the sports indexes or the, the sports betting. You're laying horses. I've got a great plan. You're starting to rub your hands. What is that plan? Ian. Oh, I'm going to lay 50 to 1 winners. Every horse that's at 50 to 1, I'm going to lay it. Brilliant. I'm making a tenner a time. Yeah, lovely. So you're risking 500 quid to make a tenner. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I won today. Done five races today. All in. Done five races tomorrow. All going to be in too. I'm assuming. Or the last three days are all in. What about the one race that the horse wins? It's certainly wiped out quite a few of your previous profits. So this is why risk management is important. And this is why you need to know your risk to be able to assess the risk because that's all you can control at the time of your trade entry. Money management, always trade within the confines of your account size. Okay. Starting out trading, I say, you know, 1%, you should really only be risking. Um, two, three percent maximum when you get experienced, um, because if you're using multiple time frames of which um, you would, but the more experience you get, you're able to amalgamate that into your trading. You can certainly probably risk a little bit more, but going to start and risking ten or twelve or fourteen or fifteen percent of your account it doesn't take too many trades to go wrong. Plus, you're sitting at the edge of your seat and you're never giving your trade enough time for it to turn out be a real good trade or perhaps a trade that's going against you a little bit and all of a sudden it starts going for you or comes back up to break even what are you doing pulling your trade you know why you're over trading you're trading in excess of what you should be in relation to your account size and remember it says in the bottom line here you will never go broke taking a profit providing your losses are small and if i go in there and i trade a couple of positions multiple positions and by the way, trading multiple positions is much easier than trading a single position when you're trying to trend and, and, and maximize that particular move. And, there, and I can explain that at a later stage. Uh, time's beating us here, folk. And I don't want to, I, I thank you very much for your time and I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. I have just another four or five minutes left and we'll finish it. But anyway, why a multiple positions are easier? Because you can pull a position and lock in some profits. And if you do that, you have to bring your remaining position or positions up to a break even. Because not every day or not every week if you're trading up daily charts that the market's starting to make those moves that I showed there in the pound dollar going from 140 to 128. You need to lock in profits. And as it says here, there's no harm in locking in profits providing your losses are small. Now, the only thing I would like to say, I am not only a mentor, but I am a trader. And what I have demonstrated to you is exactly what I use on a daily basis. It's all down to being able to analyze and read the price action correctly and then acting on that information. And it is a truly professional methodology, I can assure you, to trade any financial market. I know of none better. If I did, and me that trades, 
on more or less a daily basis. Even today, as busy as I was, I still had entered the trade. Not in the futures market this afternoon, but it entered the trade. But let me tell you, if there was a better methodology out there, do you not think I would be using it? Yes, of course, Len, I will do that, yeah. That's fine, Mike, no problem, I appreciate that. No, no, Len, we'll do that, we'll do that, no problem, I said I'll do that. So, anyway, here is what it is, folk. I invite you, if you think, can I ask you this, those of you that are in the room, do you think using this methodology would help you? Just give me an indication. Just, you're not committing yourself. I just want to know, do you think, would it help you? Thank you for your feedback. Appreciate that, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, and the only reason is just to get a feedback because obviously it's it's a, you know I like I like I, I you want to be given a presentation you want those that are uh, um, watching the presentation to see the benefits because then if the, if if you don't see the benefits when I know it is so beneficial then obviously I'm doing something wrong okay and that's the truth so do you think as I said the second question do you think maybe trading tool would help you confirm the trading signals perhaps keep you in trades longer and exiting bad trades quicker if you do then i was going to say i invite you to join my trading family become a member and indeed what you get as a member is you get access to learning our complete price action methodology from beginning to end this includes the vertical bar trading pattern rules money and risk management techniques see this little bit here folk learn how to use multiple time frames to enhance timing this takes a little bit of time to perfect Right. If you had not got the methodology and certainly the software on top of it, this would take an awful lot longer than a little bit of time. But learning how to use multiple time frames to enhance timing and reduce, I should add in there, initial risk is a great aspect to the whole methodology. Now, how is this done? You might ask, Ian. It's done by having videos, three videos, sorry through videos in the members area of the website. But I do want to make this very clear at this point. I have not got hundreds of videos in my members area. Now I have new videos that are going up shortly, okay? It's a bit like driving a car. Once you learn to drive the car, you know, there's only so much you can take unless you just want to go racing after that. So, and the reason I have not got hundreds of videos in my members area is quite simply this. I very much, base my mentorship and training on a more personal and one-to-one -one tuition basis. So if I had hundreds of videos in my members area and you're watching a video and you see that video and you see a particular setup, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden then you start looking at a real market and all, and then you see something different happen. But the only thing that you've got to go by is the videos in the members area of the particular subscription that you've signed up to. Would that really benefit you when you're lost, when you have a question to ask somebody? So the videos in the members area, certainly I've got um, three modules in there, apart from an introductory module, but you have three main modules of which will give you the basics of the price action. They will give you the rules to the vertical bar trading pattern, and then you'll give you examples and that is enough to get everybody's um, appetite wet up there, I said. And then we've got our live trading room that happens on a daily basis. Apart from this coming week, folk, I'm away on Sunday night. Anybody that's joining, I have no live trading room this week. I'm away on Sunday until Thursday. I'm over to Portugal for a few days. I'm not coming back to Thursday night. And then our regular live members training webinars. Now, this live trading room is key because not only is it a live trading room, but it's also an education place too.
but perhaps at the beginning for new members it is not so very beneficial okay and the reason being as you can imagine it is at quite a quick pace all right so i like although i do say to new members come into the live trading room i have warned every new member that has joined my membership to be aware that this can be confusing and to be quite honest with you most have agreed with me that ian I need another couple of weeks before I really get the benefit. Now, once you have the benefit, once you have been speaking to me, and once we've got to grips with the rules of the very good marketing pattern and looking at charts and maybe going into a training webinar when the pace is much slower, then this becomes very beneficial to you. But initially, it can be a little bit quick. And I just want to say that to you, but it is still where I am mentoring. I am in control of the live training room. And therefore, any questions that be asked, in a real-time basis are there you can also see trades that i take in the live room as i set up and not only that i take but as other members take obviously you will also get um, access to the trend trader software including all future updates it is available for for ninja trader trade station and mt4 and again obviously unlimited email support that is what you get as being um, a member of the um your um being a member of my methodology and i will answer any questions in a second now you can have all you can have all of this by joining my trading family i'll personally mentor you and give you all the support you need guaranteed all right so if you're putting your trust in me i will certainly not let down that trust all right there's nothing as horrible in life never let no one um an education and certainly in trading education that you're putting your trust in somebody and maybe it's happened to some of you and all of a sudden then um that particular um individual or company or whatever the case may be that's promised you the earth the sun the moon and the stars is all of a sudden no longer there to give you the support it's happened to me folk in life not necessarily in trading but in life and that's just made me so very determined um and i do I, I, I bend over backwards to help every individual. Yes, there's some members need not much coaching or mentoring. And there's other needs. There's others that need quite a lot. Okay, but I go out of my way to make sure that everybody's got all um, indeed. So I do, and I'm totally confident you will find the whole package and offer totally beneficial in helping you become a profitable trader. Um, there is the deal, folk. It's a deal that's on all this week. It's been on for Simon and around the clock trader events. The full price is 14.97 i have a reduced price of 9.97 that will expire at the end of the weekend okay now the product the if you wish to become a member oh it is this product stb trend wait till i see can i put in this into the room Or again, folk, you can if that, if you if you don't get that and you want to come in and take the offer, you can be it can be www.beawinningtrader.com forward slash rtct, which is round the clock trader. That'll also bring you to the page. Um, so it will. What I will say before I close, and that is this: this is not for you if you are not prepared to put in the work and learn the rules. To my trading methodology and i mean that right it's not something that you know you click the switch because anything that you click the switch let me tell you will unless will not work in relation to having longevity all right 
may have beginner's luck, folk. But if there's no learning to something, very rarely does it work. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe before my life finishes on this earth, I will. Okay. So I want to make that very clear to you that, you know, put a little bit of work in. It's not rocket science. Okay. Everything that I do around my trading, even like the presentation I done earlier this evening and, and, and um, about options trading, I try to simplify it as much as possible. Take out all the fluff. Take out all this bump that is going to be confusing. Have a clear chart. You can see what my charts are like. They're pretty clear. They're not. They're not. They're, they're not full of different indicators. And you see the big advantage of trading price action. It is real. It is not lagging. Okay, it's not lagging. So, if anybody, have we any other? Yes, I have some questions here. Sorry. Let me just check this. Bear with me. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> what is your win to loss ratio ray roughly we are probably in excess of 50 percent okay now every market is different and every time frame can be different and i don't want to quote higher than that but on a lot of occasions it's much higher okay but to see the key the key to ray it's not necessarily the win to loss ratio that's important. Yes, it is important if your losses are greater than your wins. Okay, but if you have small losses, would your wins outperform your losses? That is the most important aspect of it. Okay, and because of our methodology and certainly of, with our software, it means we can we can certainly let our um, trending moves run. We've got the tools. We know exactly when the move's over. We've got both the methodology and the software. And to answer another question, how long does it take to make you a profitable trader? Anybody learning price action, as indeed I did, and using it in the basics, will find a big difference to their trading immediately. Okay. Now, I don't want to say that you will learn price action in a week because could, could you become a surgeon in a week? Could you become a vet in a week? Could you become a maths teacher in a week? So, but it's not years, right? It's not weeks. Well, it depends, it depends. I have a member, folk, that's been a member of mine, a full member for quite a period of time. This particular person lost a lot of money trading the markets. Didn't know what they were at. But I mean a lot of money. A lot of money for them and a lot of money for most people. All right. And just recently <clears throat> I'd made contact with me because we were really in trading uh, range trading sessions. And it was only in my first conversation last week <coughs> that I realized they hadn't looked at anything. Or very little. I've been on the live trading room, etc., but we're not really au fait with what was going on. I'm having a second trading session with that particular person tomorrow morning. I'm doing a one to one on a webinar, something similar to this arrangement, where I will unmute that person and we will go over charts in a very, very slow and determined way. But therefore, that's weeks or months. But if you put the effort in, um, to answer your question, Ray, in a real truthful um, manner, you could become um, profitable pretty quickly. Okay. There's no reason. Understand the vertical bar trading pattern highs and lows. And then use that with the software. There's no reason in this wide world why you, not can't, why you could not or anybody could not um, start seeing and reaping the benefits of that pretty quickly. One thing I will say this, I would not want anyone to rush. I'd far rather somebody taking their time and learning it a little bit slower. I don't mean weeks slower. I'm just talking about 
you know, sometimes I have new members come on and then all of a sudden they can't wait to get speaking to me uh, to ask questions. And that's fine. But you find that it's better to study the videos a little bit more on the website. And then when you're coming on for our first one-to-one, -one, and there's no limit to the one-to-ones, by the way, the training isn't doesn't end in three months, all right? And the reason I can say that is because the training, it'll not have to go on forever and ever, all right? The only time it'll go on forever and ever if somebody just does a little bit now and a little bit again, a little bit uh, sometime later after that. So therefore, on that basis, I want to say this, and that is that um, providing you put a little bit of effort into to, to your training and learning, at the, the time span is not, shouldn't be great, okay? That's all I'm saying. So now, let me see, can I ask, let me go back here because I want to, Lem, um, I can look at those pairs for you without a problem. What we'll do, Lem, if you wish, is would you like to email me? It's ian at beawinningtrader.com. I can put that in. And um, if you have a telephone number or want me to contact you, we'll do that immediately. Is that okay? Or is it, and Len, are you reading me okay? And will I just check those pairs that you want me to look at? And that is the New Zealand US dollar. Write them down. Euro Japanese. Good market. I like that, Len. I like the Euro yen. And the pound yen. Whatever you think, Len, whatever suits you. Whatever suits you, Len, whatever whatever you wish to do, um, we can have a chat then, that's not a problem. And if anybody else wishes to talk to me about any aspect of trading, email me again. There's the email address. I put it in there, ian at beawinningtrader.com, and we can have a conversation, and we can discuss your trading or any aspect of your trading that is difficult. Look, folk, it's a quarter to nine at night. You've spent more than enough time with me. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Once again, thank you very, very much. Okay, thank you, and hopefully um, I will speak to you all soon, or some of you soon anyway. Okay. And all the best for your trading in the meantime. Okay, there is the link, STB Trend Trader, or if, uh, in the meantime, from now over the next couple of days, it's beawinningtrader.com forward slash RTCT. Okay, round the clock trader. Um, yeah, AM's fine, Len. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. Was that what you mean? AM? Yeah. Look, thank you. All the best. Good night. Thank you.